Hi everyone, welcome back to Naomi's Bookshelf. Here I am with a gigantic TBR, which I actually think I can do. It is huge, so I might as well just get straight in. So there is one readathon that I would like to get to, which is the middle grade magic readathon. I saw this on Cozy Reader Kelly and Kara from um, Wild Book Garden, their channels about this readathon. So I'm excited to participate. I don't read a lot of middle grade, so this is going to be something that is pushing me outside of my comfort zone a little, which I think is good. I do enjoy some middle grade, but I don't read a lot of it to honestly speak to it. So the first prompt is to read a book that is about something related to you and something that is different than you so you can experience something new and also see yourself in the experience. So for the first part of that would be um, for the Canadian aspect, I'm going to be trying to read Orphan at My Door. This one is by Jean Little, I believe. Um, yeah, Jean Little. This is the first, I believe, no, second Dear Canada book I ever read. These are told in journal entries. And this is about a home child uh, who comes and stays with this family. And it is a very, I remember being sad and good. And this is where I actually picked up the love of the name Marianne, Mariana. In my, in my world, I loved the name Mariana and when I was a kid and I was convinced I was gonna name my daughter that one day on the spelling. So this is gonna be an interesting one. I hope it's a quick read, but I think it will be packing a punch now that I know more about history. The next one that's the opposite side of the coin would be um, Layla the Black Tulip. This is from the Girl of Many Girls of Many Lands series, which and this one takes place in Turkey. Um, this one was by Alex Alev. I hope I'm not butchering this. Alev Little Crotier. Uh, this is a Turkish-born author who was born and raised in Turkey, and she wrote about this experience. Um, I don't really remember too much about this but it is something where she's taken, I believe, to the royal court and having to deal with that when she's 12 years old. When I was growing up, this series kind of shocked me because I didn't understand and I never experienced history through the eyes of different people in different nations um, and experiencing different levels of poverty or different levels of persecution. So this is definitely a series I remember being hard hitting in so many ways but definitely something that I look back on with I'm with uh, gratitude because of the open eyes now. But this is something that is different for me because she is from Turkey. The next prompt is to read a book that gives you hope. And I have decided to go with a Maud Hart Lovelace. I wanted to finish the series last year, never did. So I'm excited to pick it up. This is the Carney's House Party and Winona's Pony Ride. I also have Emily of Deep Valley, which I believe is YA, so I don't think that quite counts for the middle grade. But these are all taking place in the same universe as the Betsy and Tacy series, and these were always just so nice and warm and fuzzy. They're not these ones because I haven't read them, obviously, but the series was nice and warm and fuzzy, so I hope to pick these up and really enjoy them. So I'm combining the next two prompts, the first of which is to read a book that's like a fairy tale, a story time, one that you'd read to kids, and then the next prompt is to read a book that has fantastical elements. So I'm going to go with my continuation of the series, which I've realized I am slacking on massively. And that would be the Wizard of Oz series. So I'm going to be picking up Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz. Um, this is book four in the series, I believe. I've read the first three, really enjoyed them. I own the full collection, and I hope I can finish this series soon. I might even read more in this book if I feel so so inclined, if it's just perfect for me. But I hopefully will not over burn out with reading. Um, this readathon is two weeks. I don't know if I said that, August 1st to 16th, and I have other reading plans on top of this. So we will see how far I go. So the last prompt is one that I don't have a book for yet. I am struggling to find one. I have looked around and I cannot find anyone who I think will give me what I'm looking for. And that is to read a book by a marginalized author that will bring you joy. Now this is a struggle because every time I've gotten a recommendation when I've been looking this up, it's not marginalized authors, but it's a book with marginalized characters, which is something that's different in my opinion. So I reached out to my library where they are closed for in-house browsing, but they are offering an email recommendation list. I'm hoping they'll get back to me soon with a book I can read during this time, 
but if not I'm hoping that maybe someone will comment down below with a video with a book that I would enjoy that would bring happiness but also is by a marginalized author so the first book on this huge TPR is not one that I'm planning on finishing I am reading half of it in August and I will be buddy reading Middle March by George Eliot with Victoria from the musical Bookworm. We'll be buddy reading this. Uh, we had a lot of fun buddy reading Lord of the Rings together, the whole series. So we are going to buddy read this one. It is like 800 pages, 900 pages. So we're gonna read about 100 pages a week and I am very glad it's not going to all happen in one month because that's a little much. Another classic that I will be reading is one that I am actually super excited about. I will be buddy reading this with a friend or reading it and then discussing it after the fact and that is The Great Gatsby. So I have this beautiful edition I found at my local bookstore. It is a graphic novel of The Great Gatsby and it just looks so interesting. It looks like... I'm not a graphic novel person, so this is a little outside my comfort zone too, but it definitely looks interesting. I don't know how I feel about the art, but I am excited to pick this up and read The Great Gatsby again. I really do enjoy this story, and I think it's an interesting story of humanity, and there's no good guys, which is kind of interesting to read about. So I personally really enjoy this story. I know not everyone does, but this is an interesting story of mine that I like, and I hope that this is a great graphic novel for it. Since we're on the topic of things that are outside my comfort zone, let's go to something completely new. Something I've never read of from before, this author, and that's a little shocking in this world, and that is Stephen King. I have never read a Stephen King book ever, and I am planning to read Rose Matter in August. This is what I've been recommended as the first Stephen King book I should pick up. This is something where I'm interested in it, but I am also kind of scared because Stephen King has a lot of power. If those words have a lot of power in the book community. So I'm hoping that this one is great. Uh, this one I think follows a woman who has been abused by her husband as she's fleeing him and he's hunting her down and stalking her. So that sounds creepy. It sounds like a thriller horror and that is probably the best horror for me to step my toes into. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna love it but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna give it my best shot. So since we're still in Outside My Comfort Zone, let's jump into a high epic fantasy that I have been intrigued by and finally decided it's time to pick up. I don't have a physical copy yet because it's from my library and I'm waiting for it, but it looks huge and I'm a little petrified of it. And that is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames or Ames? I heard this talked about on from Cody from Cody's Book Corner and she raved about it. It's about a heist group or a group of men who are older. They have been retired from their mercenary ways. I believe they're mercenaries. And then they have to get back into the job to save one of the daughters of the group. So it sounds very interesting. I'm hoping I really enjoy it. I don't read any adult fantasy and I'm hoping that this is something else. This is like the month of me pushing my boundaries in books and what I feel comfortable in. So I'm hoping this is a success. The next book that is on my TBR is A Winter's Tale by William Shakespeare. This is my Shakespeare play of the month. I know nothing about it. I don't even know if it's comedy or tragedy. Um, I guess we'll just see. It sounds a little interesting. The title just in itself sounds interesting. And yes, it's summer. Why would I be reading winter book in summer? but I'm hoping it's good. I have a bunch of Shakespeare plays I wanna to get to and I might as well just get to this one now. So I will be hopefully reading A Winter's Tale in August. Another book that is definitely on my TBR and I will be completing is The Sign of Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Now this one I'll be buddy reading with Berna from Berna's Bookish Adventures. We are buddy reading A Study in Scarlet uh, which is the first book in the Sherlock Holmes series and this is book two. It sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. She's never read them before. I think I've read that one a long time ago, but I cannot remember the sign of four specifically. So I'm hoping it will be a really fun one to read and Sherlock Holmes is always fun too. Now for a change of pace, I feel like I'm gonna need something light to break up the heaviness that is this TBR in some ways. So I'm gonna go with A Love Inspired Romance, which is His Two Little Blessings by Mia Ross. Um, I don't know anything about this. I know it's Christian inspired romance and I think it's a single dad, uh, a widower with his children and his school and a school teacher, I believe. 
I just need something light to break up this heavy big books TBR. So this I think will be will fit the bill. So in spite of what you might believe, we still have two books left. Uh, the first of the last two is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. I guess I should take off the sticker. Um, this one I have heard only good things about, but I've also heard to listen to the audio and I happen to have the audio on Audible. So I figure why not listen to it? It's a short audiobook, and it will give me something to listen to throughout the month. I believe that this is a memoir of her uh, experiences working in comedy or working in a man's field maybe in television entertainment. I'm not really sure too much. I just know I loved Amy Poehler's and I'm hoping that I love hers as well. So the last book on this TBR, which already feels like so many books, is Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. This will be my Agatha Christie book of the month. I want to reread it in anticipation for the movie coming out, which I probably will not like, but I'm still going to go watch. So this one follows Hercule Poirot as he goes for a little holiday in Egypt, which never goes well for anyone. And something happens. I can't really say too much. I think the best way to experience this book is just to read it. The thing about Agatha Christie is that her stories start um, and they don't just start with a murder. They start with like stuff happening. And I believe in this book, in this one in particular, about a third to a half of the book happens before someone dies. So it's a little ex it's a little spoilery to tell you who dies, but it's just a lot of fun. And I think that if you have not read Agatha Christie, this is a, also, this is a great book to start in. It is a little slow, like I said, with the murder not happening until halfway through, but then everything comes to light and it's wonderful. So this is on my TBR as well. So these are the 14 books on my August TBR. Aside from Middlemarch, I hope to finish everything in August. I think I might go nuts. Anyways, wish me luck. I hope that these all go well. Please let me know if you're participating in Middle Grade Magic or if you have any interest in these books. I would love to discuss them down below. I will see you next time with another video. Bye for now.